Yo yo hopefully friends, a lot of my boy who welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. Last time we beat the game, we beat the game any person at least. I mean we we beat the final boss, Bowser, in uh the final main world of the game world Bowser and which uh beating the game unlocked the special worlds, which is uh, what we've got right here, and we started the special worlds and today we're going to be continuing with the first of the special worlds, that being World Star. Uh also in the last episode we unlocked Rosalina, the uh fifth and final playable character of the game, and I said I was going to be using her for pretty much the rest of the series, but I will say, since I did end on Peach last time in Toad is the fourth character, I figured I would do one more level as Toad, just to, just to make it even, you know, what, what can I say, I'm big on even, on equality and all that stuff, also, um, not really sure what's up with the single, um, mushroom, also I have to say, like, this whole ground pound and then jump, really wish I had figured that one out a long time ago, I think that could have made a lot of sections a bit easier, but I guess it is what it is. Anyways, we have these like rolling um, sections. Basically, you just have to make it roll. Um, makes sense. Okay, well that Goomba just got completely destroyed. Um, is there anything over here? All right, um, that's cool. Okay, that's far less cool. Um, all right. Yeah, these rolling sections can be a bit difficult just because it's sometimes hard to like tell you know how much you have to run. You kind of like really. I really love how that Goomba just dies instantly, but it's like, yeah, it's like you, like, you basically, um, it's really hard to, like, continuously run. You kind of have to, like, run and then stop, because if you just continuously run, you'll run too far and go off the other side. Um, so you kind of run and stop, but then, like, if you stop for too long, then you'll just die, so a bit difficult. And anyways, yeah, I guess that's, like, the main mechanic behind this level, just these rolling sections. Okay, that's... Wow, we are just not doing well. Alright, let's not be bad. There we go. Um, anything in, like, any of these? Okay. Um. Well, sure I'm glad I almost died for, like, three coins. That's whatever. Yeah, like I said, uh, this is kind of, like, the special words are definitely a pretty, um, big increase in difficulty, I have to say. Like, just because, I mean, like, the main worlds of the game are kind of the ones that, like, you know, everyone has to be able to do. Like, they're like, I feel like these games are mostly designed just, you know, so that, like, you know, pretty much every player can beat them, um, any percent. But then, like, you know, for the special worlds, which are, like, not required to beat the game, obviously they're not unlockable until you beat the game. The difficulty is a bit higher, and I'm okay. I, I don't even know why I'm, like, bothering with any of this. There's, like, never anything in any of these. I just... All I'm doing is being very close to killing myself, but, like, I don't know. What, what's like? What's the problem that had anything in it? Pretty much none, but... Well, at least I have a power-up now. And, alright, more of this. Yeah, just... Okay. Um... Well, that actually worked out better than I thought. Alright, we got a mystery box. What do we got? Um... Okay. Um, okay. Let's see what we got going on here. If you're crazy, you could probably get that one up. But, uh... I'm, I'm not... I'm not that crazy. Actually, probably wouldn't have been too bad. Looks like you had plenty of time. Okay, so I guess the idea here is... <sighs> Come on, dude. This... Uh, I'm back over here. Let's not kill ourselves this time. Yeah, these rolling pins are just kind of annoying. Just because, like I said, you kind of have to, like, um, stop. Like, you can't just be running the entire time. And then that, like, leads to stuff. Okay, um... Alright, let's come over here. Okay, I actually killed one. I didn't really think that was going to happen. Okay, there's... Another set. Alright, let's come over here. Okay, maybe just like doing single jumps might actually be easier. I'm not totally sure. Um, Alright, wh wh what do you have? Um, Alright, well there's the goal. Green star is there. Um, there's 8-Bit Luigi over there on the left side. And also I just realized this like background is like kind of weird. It's kind of like, like it's all made of blocks. I guess it's sort of like, like a toy like, style thing, where you have, like, wooden blocks and stuff. That, that's pretty cool. I, I always appreciate a level that has, like, a more unique, um, art style. Alright, so I guess the idea is we have to make these guys move. Um, alright. So I guess the one nice thing is, is that, like, you do have to go pretty close to the end to make them move at all. So, like, a lot of the time you're good just kind of, um, staying in the middle. Um, right, which one of these is the green star on? Um, okay, it's this one. I, sh I figured it would be the one that's, like, way out here. Um, alright. Let's just do it slowly. A little bit more. Um, 
I can probably get that right. Okay, that was a poor idea. All right, there we go. Nice. Um. Alrighty. Um, I really wish I had like. Okay, well, I was about to say I really wish I had some sort of power up, but I guess there we go. The game decided to be nice. Um. So I guess that'll do something. Do they come back? If I kill them all at once, do they not come back? Whatever, they're not really that threatening anyways. Um, I always forget the fact that like, okay, 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 let's just, let's just calm down there. Oh, that was a, alright. Alright, I'll take it. Um, is there anything underneath this? Or like, am I like, am I like gonna be dead if I go down there? Um, low battery, that is suboptimal, but uh, alright, that's fine, I guess. Okay. Um, anything up here? Probably just some coins, if I were to guess. Or maybe something good. Yeah, okay, just absolutely nothing. That's fine, I guess. So I guess I sort of have, like, this maze type thing, where I just have to, like, um, alright. Well, here's, like, one potential exit of the maze. I'm not sure if this is the intended path, but, uh, let's check out over here, and... Really? <laughs> Welp, um, I guess I'll be redoing this with Rosalina at some point. That is just hilarious. Um, I really hate those, like, player, like, specific stamp things. Like, I, I don't really know why that's, like, a thing. That's just not cool. Like, if you're gonna do that, at least put it really early in the level, which is, like, what most of the other, um, levels that had it did. Like, don't just put that, like, way at the end where, like, like I'm almost done over here. Cause like at this point, like it's not worth just quitting. Cause I mean I'm so far and I did get some of the green stars. It's I'll just you know redo it I guess. Whatever. Um, okay, the timer. That's always great. Um, okay, well that's the end. Um, all right, is there a third green star somewhere? My I couldn't make that jump. Well, that sucks. Alright, uh, here's like where I died, right? I don't have a power up this time, so that makes things a bit more difficult, but uh, I guess we will manage with what we have. Okay, the, the bees, not the bees. The classic. Um, I can't like kill these guys from this position, because I have to jump on their heads, so I guess I'll just. I guess, I guess you guys can live another day. Be nice. Alright, so what's down this path? Um, Alright, come on. Alright, um. What? Two? Two what? Like, was there a double cherry in this level somewhere that I just didn't find? Um... I genuinely have no idea, like, what I'm supposed to do with this. Um... I, I didn't see any double cherries anywhere, so, um... Alright, sure, let's just get to the end and... I mean, I have to redo this anyway, so whatever. Um... Well, that was really bad. Um, can I get back up? Um, might be able to. Okay, I definitely can. If I, like, do something clever. Okay, maybe I can't. Um, really? You're not gonna let me back up? Okay, that's... Suboptimal! Fine, I'll just... Get the top of the flagpole later, I guess. Well, that level kind of sucked, to be honest. I, I don't even know how I was supposed to get some of those things, but... Alright. Um, so I guess I'm on the lookout for a double cherry. And, um... Also have to do it as Rosalina, so... That's cool. But whatever. It's not really that big of a deal. Chances are I would have had to have redone this level anyways. Well, anyways, uh... I guess now's the time where I will show off what Rosalina does the uh, fifth playable character, and as I said, the character who I personally prefer to play as, um, and uh, I will show you why. So, what's Rosalina's ability, you may ask? Well, Rosalina can spin right out of Mario Galaxy, and uh, what can you do with spins? Well, just like in Mario Galaxy, you can use that as a boost with your jump, and you can use it to defeat enemies. So, yeah, she is the uh, only character in the game who can actually defeat enemies, apart from, like, you know, having to jump on them, which doesn't even work on certain enemies. So, she's the only character who can, like, defeat pretty much any enemy. Uh, at the very least, the same enemies that, like, Fire Flowers and Boomerang, uh, can defeat. Well, I guess, I guess every power-up has an attack 
portion of it, don't they? Because, like, Cat also, the Cat has, like, the claws and Tanuki has the tail, so it's like... But basically, she can defeat enemies without having to jump on them. Well, that guy just got jumped on, and also, you know, really good at jumping. Basically has the best movement, in my opinion. And is also just, like, my favorite Mario character. I think I've said that before. Is, uh, Rosalie is, like, my favorite character in the Mario series, not counting, like, the Donkey Kong Country games, which are sort of in a different league. So, yeah, I mean, basically this is by far my favorite character to play as in the game. Probably the best character in the game, at least in my opinion, which I guess makes sense since it's like, I mean, this is like, you know, a post-game secret character, like, unlockable character, so it it should be a character who's, like, really good, uh, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, well, that's basically how Rosalina works, and, uh, like I said, I'll be playing as her for the rest of the playthrough, uh, meet you at, like, relevant stuff, I guess. Alright, I'm over here. This is where the, uh, stamp was. Also, uh, I sh or, I'm assuming it's the stamp, yeah. Also, I should mention, um, so the one downside about, like, a um, Rosalina spin is that you actually can't use it when you have a power-up. Like, you see, I have it right here, and if I try and do anything, all it does is it just, like, throws the boomerang. Like, I, I can't do, like, a, a spin jump, which is a bit lame, but I guess it is what it is. I mean, that's sort of accurate in Mario Galaxy, like, when you got power-ups, you couldn't use spin either. Well, if you got certain power-ups or other power-ups made spin do something a bit different. Um, anyways, that's that. Now let's see if I can find out how to operate that, like, two-person lever. Alright, I have no idea how this is supposed to be done, so I'm just going to use an additional character. So if you get another controller, um, let's just, yeah, let's bring in Mario. Uh, sup? Oh, really, that missed. Come on, get down here. Do I have to... Okay. There we go. Anyways, I got a second person, and uh, then you can activate I have no idea how this is intended to be done. I don't know if there is a... Uh, and also, Mario, I'm gonna... Can I, like, disable the controller now? Um, I have no... You know what, Mario? You, are, you can just hang out there, I guess. We're, like, at the end of the level anyways. Um, let's not mess this up this time. Um, well, I have a spin, so pretty free. Um, wait, can I get it, get there as Mario too? All right, cool. Uh, just a little uh, moral victory, I guess, getting both characters to the end, and neither of them died or something. I don't really know. Anyways, like I said, I have no idea how that's intended to be done. Um, like I searched the entirety of that level. For, oh yeah, I guess that's what happens if you have multiple. Um, characters, you can, like, compete to see who gets the most points. Uh, obviously, Rosalina got way more since, like, that's the character I actually played as, as opposed to bringing them out at the end. Um, okay, can I, like, go away now? I don't really want to keep him around. Uh, we know we'll just... Can I just... Um... Alright, I got rid of, um, Mario. Bye bye <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I genuinely have no idea how that's intended to be done. You might just have to bring in a second um, player and uh, do it like that. I mean, like I said, um, like getting a second player, obviously you don't require an actual physical second person. All you have to do is, you know, just um, as long as you have another controller, you can um, just simulate having a second controller. And uh, the, the nice thing about the game is that, like, you can... Okay, that's... A thing. I guess right there, the actual spin messed me up a bit since I was prematurely holding down the run button to run, but uh, he accidentally uh, made me spin, but that's okay. Yeah, I will say this game has some somewhat questionable. Oh, really? Alright, uh, whatever. Screw the boost pad. We don't need it. Um, I was just gonna say, I feel like this game has some pretty questionable, um, like, controls mapping. The fact that, like, you know, everything is mapped to the same button. Like, you, this... I hate these guys. What do I even do? I genuinely have no idea how I'm supposed to deal with those guys. Okay, well, I mean, Rosalina can attack them, like I said. Her spin is the equivalent of, like, other characters to, like, actual attacks, so... Which is why she's, like, the best character in the game. Um, really? Alright, back over here. What I should have done is just, you know, not, like, run through all of them. Um, also, I didn't really mention this, but if you couldn't tell, the mechanic behind this level is that the goal post runs. Um, you can actually catch it pretty quickly, but if you want to actually get, like, the collectibles, you have to let it last a while, which is why, like, I'm not really 
going particularly fast, because, like, yeah, there's, like, stuff like this. I think at the very end of this is the last green star. Yeah, alright, there we go. Well, now that we got everything, we kind of need to get it. Um, I'm pretty sure if I, like, just go to the very end... Uh, okay, um, okay, I, I might know. Um, okay, you know what, that worked perfectly. Um, we timed it, yeah. Basically, the level ends as soon as you grab the gold, um, flag. And if you're really fast, you can actually grab it, like, super close to the beginning. It's just that, like, the collectibles are, you know, pretty deep into the level. So if you want to get everything, you have to, you have to wait a while. But it's, but it's a pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool concept for a level, obviously. A, a bit of a twist, you know, the whole, you see the goal see the gold flag immediately, but then it just runs away. Pr pretty crazy stuff. Uh, well, I guess this is here, so let's do it. Alright, I got like one life from it, which is fine. I will say I'm actually running a bit low on lives. I mean, I still have a decent amount, but like spe this special wolf has definitely taken a lot of them from me. Um, Alright, um, this music is, I think, this is um, 3D. Uh, okay. I thought I could pick that up, but I guess not. But I was going to say, this is like 3D land music, isn't it? I know it's a low battery. Of, co of course, it's just going to be rem reminding me constantly, isn't it? That's just how these games are, or how these, like, uh, consoles are. Um, anything of interest up there? Whatever, I can just get up there from somewhere else. So I think the idea here is that, like, okay, well, the charging chuck can handle it. Basically, we have all these bo um, blocks that, um, you can't deal with, but I believe, like, the bob -ombs can. And, uh, of course, the big question is which of these actually have meaningful things in them. Uh, and the answer is not that one, but, uh, wait, actually... Okay, um... Alright, what's in this? Um, nothing. Yeah, this is just kind of one of those levels where you just kind of have to blow up everything if you want to find everything, which can be annoying, but I guess it is what it is. Um, alright, so... Um, alright, can I grab this? Alright, what about up there? Anything good? Um, we just, just, just kind of like a, alright, well, I mean, I can get on top of this one. Um, doesn't look like there's anything up there. What about the other side? Of course, it could just be underneath a, underneath a block, which is kind of lame. Um, there's more coins. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Um, Alright, underneath that was just a springboard. What about over there? Okay. Nothing, still nothing. Yeah, you just kind of have to check everywhere. Uh, so here you go. I'm not sure if I ever demonstrated it directly, but um, there's Rosalina spinning and just kind of destroying everything. Yeah, she's just so good to play as. Just the, the fact that you can actually destroy, the fact that you can actually kill things is very nice. Um... Alright, well, I'll have to bomb that at some point. Um, are there any bombs anywhere? Did I use them all up? I probably used them all up, didn't die. There's also something up there. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any left. That is just not really that great. Um, well, I can get over there, right? Yeah, see, once again, Rosalina, pretty OP. Look at that. Long jump into spin. I'm basically playing Mario Galaxy right now. Look at that. Just beautiful ground pound okay um i did not think that those were gonna rise up i was just gonna ground pound jump it but okay um so bombs are just all gone fine whatever we'll just guess we'll just come back later that's kind of how i do things isn't it um just kind of get them in segments uh all right whatever let's just continue don't really know what that power block was for, but okay. Um, is this suicide? Okay, no. Just... Alright. Alright, which of these do I de destroy? Um, this gray one looks very sus. Okay, that... I, I, I did not think that through, not gonna lie. Alright, let's think this through this time. There we go. Grab this one, grab it, and there we go. Um... That blew that up, really? Come on. Alright, grab this, throw it, run away. Everything blew up. Alright, grab this, throw it the wrong way somehow. Alright, um... So throw that, and then just bounce. Alright. 
and Rosaline is awesome, so we can just kind of get wherever we want. Look at that, that's so nice, like, so much range. Yeah, she's just so much fun to play as, like I said, e easily the best character in the game. It is kind of annoying that you can't do that when you have a power-up, but I mean, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, you still have a power-up, so no big deal. Um, don't know if there's anything underneath those, but I guess we will find out. You know, it's really annoying that these bombs don't respawn. Like, I feel like that would make this so much more manageable if, like, they actually respawn, so you could, like, you know, do stuff. I, I guess they do respawn here. They've got a little box of them. But, like, at, like in the beginning, it makes it way more annoying than it really needs to be. Um, okay. Fine. Just grab it there. Um, so yeah, the idea here is I guess we just have to get all the keys. Looks like the last one is over here, if I were to guess. Oh, okay. I um, guess that's the third green star. Okay. So the last one's there. I guess this is just a, like, like if I ground pounded this, it would have taken me up. Alright. Cool. Fair enough. And then we know where the stamp is, so let's just make it to the end. Yeah. There's not much here. So these just, um, yeah. Alright. And... Right, and long jump spin. All the distance I need. Beautiful. Just look at that. So nice. Uh, I keep saying that, but it really is. Rosalina really is, like, so much fun to play as. Like, she basically just has everyone's attributes. Like, she, I mean, she, I mean, her jump by itself is already, like, really good. Probably, like, as good as, like, at least Luigi's. And then the fact that you can spin after that means you can just go wherever you want, plus enemy killing. And another one of those already... Whatever. Um, anyways, meet you at the uh, stamp. I actually know where it is. We know which um, block to break, so should be pretty easy. All right, you have to like bring that bomb from way away, but uh, I guess it works. Maybe there's one that's closer somewhere, but uh, those ones will work. I feel like the bombs are kind of weird. They like, I feel like they like, like they flash to indicate they're gonna explode like a lot sooner than they actually do. But I'm not totally sure. Anyways, uh, that was that. And uh, you know, what? just for reference, let's actually like do this properly. All right, so grab this one, throw it away. Grab this one, throw it away. Grab this one, like throw it from here. Run away. Um, I guess that works, and something like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the exact best method, but whatever I did last time was kind of sus. So there you go. There. Look at look at that distance. You don't even have to break the box. You can just long jump spin. Like I, like I'm pretty sure the long jump spin like goes further than like Peach like fully floating uh, as well, but uh, not totally sure. Also, if you may have been noticing, like, the clear times, I, f I figured that out, like, you only get a clear time if you beat the level without dying, if, if you, like, die and, or I guess if you, like, use a checkpoint, if you, like, die and then have to use a checkpoint, like, it doesn't count, just in case anyone was wondering. Uh, well, this is back, so let's do this real quick, I guess. Alright, well, I didn't really get anything, but I guess that's okay. Anyways, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to do both of these, and then I'm probably gonna end the episode, because, I mean, so there's... Four levels left, uh, four main levels plus Captain Toad and whatever that is, uh, and I, I think that's a good split, right? Because it's like four levels each. Yeah, sounds good to me. Anyways, we got Captain Toad back once again. I think this is the second to last Captain Toad level, if I recall correctly. Although to be honest, I don't really remember that well. And this one looks actually pretty interesting. Looks like we have some sort of Mario Galaxy stuff going on with like the whole like, you know, rotating the level around, so, alright, so the idea is, um, just, ugh, these guys are back, I hate these enemies, um, so the idea is just, I guess, the P, um, switches, like, rotates it a certain direction, alright, um, I never can get past that, um, alright, where is it, it is over there, I think, alright, cool, um, yeah, I feel like enemies, when it's, when they're purely just, like, you have to avoid them, not really that much fun to deal with, in my opinion. But, uh, whatever. Alright, where are we going this time? Alright, we are right there. 
So, where do we want to get to? Okay, so we just have to, like, fall off the side and then walk all the way around. That's okay. Um, okay, I, I, I guess there's a gap on both sides. Alright, where is this taking us? Alright, um... Can I do anything with this orientation? Okay. Um, yes I can. So, alright, so we just have to wait for this these guys to go. Then we can run through. Grab this. And run back. And then, so I'm assuming this is the last orientation. I'm just going to land right on the green star. Yep. And... <laughs> Gotta say, it was pretty satisfactory actually killing one of those enemies. Pretty nice. Well, anyway, there we go. Another Captain Toe level. I will say, I don't think I've died on any of them yet, so that's good. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, you never, never want to die. Gen genu generally not a uh, very good thing to do. And, alright, so what is this? Is it still just like a stamp? Is it a stamp of like all the Sprixies together? Or something? Is that is that like what we got going on? Um, okay, j just a random stamp, okay, I mean, whatever, I'll, I mean, I, I will always take free collectibles, those are, that is not a problem, I just kind of didn't think that there would be any more after the, uh, after the main worlds, but uh, that's okay. Anyways, like I said, I think that's gonna be it for today, you know, we, we introduced the, uh, newest playable character, Rosalina, I had a lot of fun playing as her. And, uh, yeah, there's, I believe there's four more levels of this, and, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be the next part. These, these worlds are, I will say, I think all of the special worlds are, like, way longer than the main worlds are. Uh, except for the final, which has, like, like I said, only has one main level. But this one and the next two all have a lot of levels in them. A lot of main levels, at least. Like, there's, what, nine of them here? I think that's more so than normal. Or maybe it's not. Maybe they're just average size. I'm, I don't... Not totally sure. But anyways, yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for today. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.